Do you have a Linux kernel? We're going to talk about that today. I was watching the Linux Gamer, and I, he brought my attention to this article. Uh, Linux is not free software, and it's getting harder to fix it. Basically, uh, this article, I'm just going to read the summary. The battle for digital freedom has long been lost in the kernel space. Earlier this year, TechRights analyzed the complete source code of Linux to find DRM well entrenched inside the kernel, and it keeps spreading further. Linux is becoming the very thing the Free Software Foundation objected to in Windows Vista. It is, quote, open source proprietary software, end quote. Now, what they are talking about as DRM entrenched in the Linux kernel is HDCP. And uh, that is the High Bandwidth Digital Content Protection. It's a protocol that keeps capture codes from recording HD video via HDMI or DVI. Um, it's really just an encryption protocol. It, and uh, literally, all it does is just keep people from, from uh, recording this content. However, it doesn't really stop people because OBS still can record it, but um, literally, I believe DRM should not exist. It doesn't stop pirates. It doesn't stop bad people from doing bad things. It's really just a gimmick people have to go through. However, it is an industry standard. Um, I'm going to play a clip from the Linux Gamer, and it's really his take on everything. In their camp on this, I think that the DRM has absolutely no place in the Linux kernel. Now, I have talked to a few people. Uh, some people I agree with, some people I disagree with. It's always interesting to get other people's perspective on things. And and the most common response that I received from people, including from uh, the co-host of the Off Topical podcast, Raven67854, he said the kernel is modular and that because of that, uh, it doesn't really matter if it's the kernel that's supporting this or if it's the or if it's a device driver that's supporting this. These are drivers that come from the vendors, right? The vendors are putting this stuff into the kernel and perhaps they don't believe in free software the way most of us do. Um, but why should that matter? Is the software license under the GPL or a compatible license? If the answer is no, then it shouldn't be in the kernel, in my opinion. If the answer is yes, then I think this is really a black and white issue. DRM doesn't belong in the kernel, period. Now, um, Gardner takes kind of a hardline stance on DRM in the kernel. One I do not share. And here's the reason is if the software that supports HDCP is GPL or Apache or other compatible licensed software, then it does belong in the kernel. We should be supporting industry standards such as HDCP out of the box as much as we can. It puts a lot of new users off that want to try Linux if we are not supporting industry standards such as HDCP out of the box. Not every new user knows how to install a kernel module. That's just literally the problem with not supporting industry standards out of the box. That's why like Ubuntu and other dis user friendly distributions include non-free drivers in their distribution. It's to make it easier for newer users to be able to use their hardware. The same with HDCP. However, if it is free, included in the main kernel, um, 
literally is not a problem. It's just a decryption protocol that is an industry standard. Yes, HTCP is proprietary, but if the software that decrypts it is open source, then we need to just leave it alone. I mean, I get why the Linux Gamer Gardener has this take on DRM, and DRM is annoying. But most streaming services such as Netflix, Hulu, Vudu, etc. use HTCP to secure their content. And if we're not supporting that, no one can use those services via HDMI or DVI. It is just won't be possible. So, I don't view this as such of a black and white issue as DRM does not belong in the kernel. I support if it's not open source, it needs to be taken out and put in a module like device drivers and firmware blobs and all that other stuff. It is com that is literally the way I see it. Thank you for watching the Penguin Revolution. This is Alan. You have a nice day. Please leave a comment, like, subscribe if you like this video and share it. And I would love to hear your take on this. Have a great day.